Psalm 13 is a heavy psalm. Like, this is King David. And he says, you know, how, how long, how long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? And he said, how long must I, must I wrestle in my heart? Every day have sorrow in my heart. Every day have sorrow in my heart. And, and you might wonder as you're reading that, was he exaggerating? Was he, did he really have sorrow in his heart every day? If you've ever gone through a really sad or grief-filled stretch, you know that it can feel like that. It's hard to remember the last time you felt full of joy, the last time you felt confident, optimistic. Every day. I wonder if there's one person who really, who really did feel that way, though. Sorrow in their heart every day. I wonder if Jesus did. We see him sad. We see him sorrowful on the pages of scripture. We see him, we see him cry at the tomb of Lazarus because he just, what death does to the people he loves, it just, it just wrecks his heart. We see him in anguish. My heart is sorrowful to the point of death, he told his disciples in the, the garden of Gethsemane when he, was, when he was praying and he knew what was coming. When he looked at the city of Jerusalem, it, on Palm Sunday, he gets to the end of the Palm Sunday parade and I think it's the Gospel of Luke where, where Luke shares with us that Jesus looked in the city and he, and he started crying because he was such sorrow over the, the lack of repentance that people, people who would, would push the Savior of the world who loves him so much away. I recently read that one of, the mo one of the most common words associated with Jesus in the Bible is the word compassion. And Jesus had compassion. And when you have compassion, your heart goes out to someone. In some way, your heart hurts for somebody. But time after time, Jesus has compassion and compassion and compassion. His heart hurts. He's going through something, something sorrowful. Was it every day? I can easily imagine that it was, but not for him. His heart hurts for us. Every day. When we have to stare at the tomb of someone we love, and we miss them so much and we believe in the resurrection and we take comfort in it. But it feels like you hardly had a chance to hug them. And now they're gone. Jesus has compassion on that day. Times when life is hard. When he knows it's going to get the best of us, like he knew it was going to get the best of his disciples on Monday, Thursday. They were going to, they were going to turn away. They were going to run away. They were going to be weak in their faith. And Jesus didn't beat him up for it. He had compassion. He died for them. He forgave them. When he sees unbelief in the world, and he sees the impact that that unbelief has on the lives of his church. His heart goes out to us. He has compassion. Every day I have sorrow in my heart. I think Jesus could have said that. And it was such a powerful motivator for him. Like what he sees in our lives, the things that cause him to have compassion, it moves him to action. And the most difficult kind of action. Heavy-hearted, sorrowful, loving action that led him to a cross. And gave us the right to know that well, we don't have to wait any longer to know that God loves us. We don't have to wait any longer to know that God forgives us. You don't have to wait one moment longer to know that God is always with you. And paying attention to you with such a big heart. He has compassion. He has compassion which means you will always have his heart. The how longs that we go through, the ones that cause our tears, they hurt and Jesus knows it. Just when you go through them, remember his hurt. And then remember his action that he took because of it. When he saw it, he loved you. He loved you. And he always will. Rest well tonight, my friends.